Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see Django Crispy Forms with Bootstrap 4. Okay, before that, I would like to highlight that uh, why I am creating Django Crispy Forms Bootstrap older versions like 3 and 4, the latest one is 5, right? I am just creating because many people around the globe might use uh, older version because uh, they might be using older version of CSS in their whole project and entire project, right? That is why I am creating this video. Okay, so when we will come to bootstrap 5 or we can say only crispy forms, at that time I will go into detail and I am going to create the playlist of that crispy form. Okay, so for now, please watch these videos. Just take experience from of this uh, Django Crispy Forms, it is really very easy and I am not going to deep dive into this uh, older version Crispy Forms okay I will just configure it, explain you how it works and I will leave it but I am going to deep dive into when I will explain the current latest version of Crispy Forms okay so let's start coding okay now I will just go to browser and I will say github.com and uh, from here i'll just go to the repository so i have created this new account uh, of github of my own youtube channel because before i was using my personal github account but i'm not going to use that anymore so whatever code i'll be performing after this i'll be uploading over here so if you have not followed this please go ahead and follow and i'll obviously upload the profile picture and all those things after recording this video okay so i'll just come over here and in previous video we already set up this uh, django project okay so i'm not going to do that again so i'll just clone this code i'll just copy this link come to vs code now i'll say get clone and i'll paste that link and i will just hit enter Okay. okay now once this is done i'll just carry all those things outside of the folder and i'll delete this one okay i know the name of this project is crispy underscore bootstrap underscore twig so what we will do is i'll just delete this press the delete option yeah, delete permanently now here i'll say django underscore admin sorry django hyphen admin start project and i'll say crispy underscore form underscore four and I will just hit enter. Okay, so I need to delete this manage.py file too. Okay, once this is done, now we can directly go to the settings.py file and here we can add main. Alright, and then we can go to url.py. Here I'll import include and I'll add path over here. Now I'll say main sorry include then here I'll say main dot URL. Just complete this, come to the terminal and I'll say Python many.py migrate okay everything is fine so i say python pna.py run server okay i'll just copy this link and i will see whether it's working or not okay main underscore sorry main slash home.html emblem does not exist so i go to settings.py file again i'll hide my terminal and here i write templates 
save, refresh, this should work. Alright. Now I'll go to get bootstrap.com and here we have version 5 but I need version 4. So I'll just click on version 4. I'll copy this link. Go to my base.html and I will just replace that link. Save. And again, I'll copy this script. I'll remove this one and paste that one. Okay. Now, once this is done, we will go ahead and write Django crispy forms. And after clicking on this link, go to installation. Scroll down, go to crispy underscore, sorry, crispy hyphen bootstrap boot 4. Copy this command, come to VS Code, break the server, clear the terminal, paste that command, hit enter. It should install the bootstrap 4. And then again, we will just copy these two lines. Then go to the settings for time. Now here inside the install apps we'll just follow, paste both of these uh, lines all right and we'll copy this thing and here i'll say not here i guess i have already wrote no I haven't yeah no no we deleted the previous app, uh, project right let's say comment footstep code Christy Christy form setting paste that one indented properly and I guess we are fine. Come over here, write slash and say login user. Okay, we need to start the server and it's done. So let me write some wrong username. We are getting the error. Okay. So now if I write, it will not give me the success message, but it will automatically log in. Let's submit. Okay. Why am I not able to submit it? Okay. I need to create account. So let me go to register. And here, I'll say test user one, test user one, and at the gmail.com. And here, I'll say admin at the plus two one two one. Admin, admin. Let me make some error over here first. You can see the error messages are now being popped up under the field if you noticed in uh, bootstrap 3 they were showing the error message above here okay but now due to the change of the version they are showing the message over here okay this is what i am trying to show you so now i can write correct password say admin at the request to one to one admin at the request one to one now hit on submit we are logged in and if I click on logout, we are logged out and our form is working perfectly fine. Okay, so this is it for the bootstrap 4. Now in next video, we are going to see bootstrap 5. Okay, so yeah, this is it for today's video guys. If you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in next one. Thank you.